because not only is it... Yes, we... Yes, we... Monkey bag. Yes, we've got a... J Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Happy 2019! This is actually my first sit down video for the year and not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm still trying to remember what it's like, you know, with the whole setup, talking to a camera, praying my neighbor's dogs aren't going crazy and that the birds by my windowsill don't start chirping extra loud. I recently got back from Kuala Lumpur with my family. When I say recently, I mean a little over two weeks ago. My bad. I'll leave the playlist link for you guys up here. We went from December 28 all the way to the 31st and that was basically sale season so a lot of the stores in Malaysia were on sale and the prices were ridiculous we went ham now I know a lot of you guys were commenting in the vlogs if I was going to do a Malaysia haul and you know what I think we can all agree that my channel well there's a lot of hauls in it and I thought why not keep the tradition alive I mean whether I'm going on a trip or Trina's going on a trip there's always a haul video that follows on this channel so all of the things that I'm gonna show you guys today are all of the things that I bought for myself. A salubong for all of my friends. I already gave those away, so you're not gonna see any of that here. And just a quick disclaimer, as always, I hope you guys know that I am not trying to show off. I'm not trying to brag and be like, ooh, look at what I got for myself. Ka ching, ka ching. You guys always ask me for haul videos. So yeah, if you guys wanna see all of the amazing things that I got for myself in Malaysia, then please keep watching. It's a big bag. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a giant monkey bag, but don't let this bag fool you. Not only is it filled with stuff from monkey, but it's also filled with a lot of random stuff too. So you know what? We better get started because my neighbor's dog is starting to bark and I'm getting stressed out. First up, we've got a pair of earrings from this store called Lovisa. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Every single time that we go to Malaysia, I see this store. From floor to ceiling, it's jam-packed with accessories. And every single time we pass by, it's filled with people. And I think it's because not only are they priced quite nicely, but more often than not, they're on sale. For one reason or another, I decided to brave the crowd and I entered the store and I was able to find a couple of gifts for some friends and I was able to get myself a really nice pair of earrings as well. I spotted these. They were on sale. They were 19 ringgit from 56. So more than 50% off. Tortoise shell. I want to say they're sort of like hoops but more like a block hoop. You know like those thick ones that you see online and I just think that they look so good. Now I don't really like the fact that there are rhinestones on them but I figured I'd just wear them the other way around. I own nothing like these earrings so I figured you know what? I might as well get myself a pair and I just think that they're really gorgeous. Speaking of accessories, you guys would have seen in the vlogs that I was obsessed with this store while we were in Malaysia. Wanderlust & Co. Now the cool thing about Wanderlust & Co is according to the lady, it's a Malaysian brand so all of the jewelry is designed in Malaysia but it's made in Korea. I think the jewelry is made out of brass maybe and then it's gold plated. The designs were just so beautiful. They're really big on astrology. I personally don't believe in astrology. I don't believe in horoscopes and all that stuff but I am obsessed with like stars and planets, the moon, the sun. I was able to get a couple of rings. I have been looking for a signet. I think that's how you say it. According to my mom, that's how you say it. This is exactly what I've been looking for, what I've been dreaming of. It's just this plain gold signet ring. And again, it has that flat, round, satin finish. And this is seriously the ring of my dreams. I think out of all of the things from this haul, this is what I was dying to wear. But I was like, no, I'm going to film the haul first and then I'm going to wear it. And they had this gorgeous monogram ring that has a moon, some stars. So this is what the monogram ring looks like. Honestly guys, the jewelry in Wanderlust & Co are so well made. From the designs, their packaging is gorgeous. I have two new amazing rings that I cannot wait to wear. I also picked up a giant bottle of my favorite micellar cleansing water. This is the Bioderma Micellar Water. This is the best micellar water I've ever tried. I think it's worth every single penny. I know it's very expensive. This is the only only micellar water that can remove my waterproof mascara, all of my makeup, we're talking foundation, cream products, powder products, and still leave my skin soft and not irritated. It came with a super cute mini. This is the Bioderma Hydra Bio Cream. I think this is a very concentrated moisturizer, so it's perfect for traveling. Of course, no trip to Malaysia would be complete without a little bag from Sephora. If you guys are looking for makeup products or skincare products from Sephora Philippines, I have a discount code for you guys. It's still valid till the end of January. Just type Carla at checkout for 10% off your entire order.
order. I'll also leave it in the description box down below. I passed by Sephora because I needed a new bronzer and I decided to try the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Longwear Matte Bronzer. I've always wanted to try it but I didn't know what shade to get so I figured while I was in Malaysia I might as well have them swatch and sort of see what shade would work for me. And I think there's like a milk chocolate and then there's like a dark chocolate. I think this is the one that's in the middle maybe. This bronzer smells amazing by the way. It smells like chocolate. I will let you guys know how I get on with this. I'm hoping it doesn't break me out because it is scented. But yeah, I'm really excited to give it a try. While I was in Sephora, I also saw this big rack that they had in the middle of the store which basically had all of their products that were on sale. And when I spotted this one, I just had to get it because not only was it 50% off, I know, but it's also something that I've been wanting to try for a while. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Mini Powder Highlighter in Champagne Pop. YouTuber Jaclyn Hill collaborated with Becca Cosmetics and she came out with the Champagne Pop Highlighter. And I've been wanting it for so long, but Becca highlighters are not only expensive, but they're super pigmented, so I knew that I wouldn't be able to successfully finish like a full size one. So when I saw the mini, I was like, okay, now is my chance to try it. And it came in this cute little Christmas decoration packaging, which I thought was just extra, extra cute. I did try one of the items in this haul only because I have absolutely no self-control and I had been dying to try it for so, so long. So again, I'm sorry, but I did put it back in the paper bag. So let's just pretend for a second that I have no idea what this product is like, but really it's absolutely amazing and I love it and I can't recommend it enough. So while we were in Saria, I passed by the Dior store because I wanted to get myself a Dior lip glow. The Dior lip glow is this color changing, ultra rich and hydrating lip balm that Dior is known for. My manager Leia is obsessed with her and Bella Hadid loves it too. And you know what, for me, whatever Bella Hadid loves, I know I'm gonna love. Hashtag fangirl for life. This is the Dior Addict Lip Glow in the shade 001 Pink. I've already tried it and I absolutely love it. Whether it's underneath lipstick or just by itself, it looks amazing. It is very moisturizing. My lips look super plump and shiny and it's got this nice wash of pink as well. So it makes me look a little bit healthier because who does bond paper for life? This is what the lip glow looks like. It's just in this super cute baby pink packaging. And that's basically what the lip balm looks like. Again, as you can see, it's super shiny. It's very, very moisturizing. It's very pink as well. I know it looks a little scary on the tube, but I promise you it looks very natural on the lips. This was very expensive for a lip balm. I mean, it's Dior. It's a higher end makeup line, but I really, really like how it looks. And I hate to say it, I'm probably gonna get myself another tube because I really love this, especially for every day. I also got this while I was in Sephora. This was a perk since I am a Sephora Black Card member and I spent way too much money because I also bought a couple of things for some friends. I was able to get with my points a Sephora passport holder. Look at how cute this passport holder is. So it's just got a girl with a face mask. I mean, that's basically me. And it also came with a matching bag tag. Perks of loving makeup and spending way too much on it. It's really cute though. So I mean, I'm really happy about this. I also got myself these. Now I know I'm going to Japan and a bunch of you guys are probably like, Carla, why did you buy those in Malaysia? You're going to Japan anyway. I bought these with the intent of using it while we were in Malaysia, but we were just so dead tired every single night that we ended up not using it. Bure Cleansing Strips Pore Pack. So these are cool because you've got five nose strips and five forehead and chin strips. I know! I'm a big fan of the Bure nose strips, so I was really excited to give these a go. I hope it takes off everything, you know? Next up, we got some things from Cotton On. Now y'all know... I love myself a good scrunchie and these were all on sale. So I mean, I kind of just went crazy and got myself a bunch of colors. I've got a couple of lavender scrunchies. I have this really gorgeous emerald green and tan one, black and white polka dot one, and I've also got this salmon pink and like lavender snake skin one. And I love scrunchies. I use them in the house. I use them to go out. Also from Cotton On, I've already used these. I think I mentioned it in my vlog that I was looking for press on nails because while we were in Malaysia, my manicure chip. I was going to host the New Year's Eve countdown in BGC. Woo woo! Thanks for having me BGC. I haven't seen these in the Philippines so I really hope that they come out with them soon. Ruby We Going Out Stick On Nails. So they're a pack of 24 nails but I've already basically used them up. They were really easy to wear. They lasted the entire night. I literally had to peel them off painfully from my nails. So I mean if you guys are looking for like really sturdy press on nails could not text or use my phone but I mean I did feel like Kylie Jenner. And last is of course everything from the big monkey 
bag. You guys know Monkey is one of my favorite stores. Thick gold hoops. I don't own any hoops this thick and it just reminds me of the ones from Chloe. These weren't on sale though. They were 23 ringgit. But I mean for everyday fun hoops that's not bad. You guys would have seen me fit these jeans. I think I fit them in the first Malaysia vlog. I cannot recommend Monkey jeans enough. So I got myself a pair of their jeans but what makes these so different is yes they're mom jeans so they're high waisted. They give me that nice 80s mom butt. But they have these really cool patches on the knees. One knee is this dark denim and then the other one is just the same color as the jeans and I thought that they were just so fun. I'm a waist 25 so it sits really nicely on my waist. Big fan of Monkey jeans. Monkey has really cute t-shirts and they always go on sale. Gray t-shirt and it just has nope embroidered in the front and I thought that this was just so cute. On the days when I'm not feeling people or I'm not feeling like being sociable, I can just wear this shirt. This one I had to get. Some of you will probably be like, Carla, why would you buy that? White cotton t-shirt. Boobylicious. What makes this so funny is that I've got the chest of a 12-year-old boy. So I mean, I'm definitely not boobylicious. Right where, you know, your girls are supposed to be, it says boobylicious. This is just the best t-shirt ever. I've been wanting a black slip dress for a really long time. And I spotted one in Monkey. So this one was on sale. It's just this gorgeous silky black nighty with lace detail on the top. And I just thought that this would look so good with like a white t-shirt underneath and some sneakers and the last thing from monkey actually this haul wasn't too bad I was I, I thought I had bought more things you guys would have seen me fit the pink version but I ended up not getting that one just because I felt like I could get more use out of this one so it's just this oversized black furry super soft and fluffy sweater I originally wanted it in like an off-white color but they weren't selling it in monkey and I wasn't gonna spend for it back here so ow so I found this one in Monkey and it's super soft and super cozy. Probably not gonna get a lot of wear out of it here unless I go watch a movie. But we are going to Japan and Taiwan. So I figured, you know what, I could bring this. This was also discounted from 140 ringgit to 40 ringgit. That's 1,300 pesos off guys. Need I say more? And there you guys have it, my Malaysia haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for an amazing 2018. I hope you guys will stick around because 2019 is gonna be an exciting year. I've got a lot of trips planned, a lot of videos that I wanna film, and it would be really great if you guys stuck around for those. Again, thank you, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment down below of one goal that you have for 2019. I would love to know, and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye! Bye.